Hey y'all, <clears throat> I got, uh, it being fall and all, I really, when it comes this time of year, start looking for apple cider, but for some reason down here I can't find really good apple cider. I, uh, it's hard to find apple cider, period. Apple juice, you can find apple cider, hard. And then, you know, a lot of times some of the best I can get is in the grocery store, unfortunately. There's not orchards. I mean, where I grew up, there's orchards not too far away that would press it, and you'd go up to the barn at night, you know, and they'd have a bonfire out there, and... You know, they'd be pressing the apple cider. It'd still be warm, selling gallons of it, you know. And uh, the other thing I really like is caramel apples. And uh, not so much the same thing. You find caramel apples. You go to candy stores and it's paying six bucks a piece for them or whatever, you know. But um, I remember making them as a kid. I haven't made them in forever. I'm not going to pretend that I have. And uh, there's probably a reason that we didn't make them a lot. Um, I don't know why, but I just think that they're a pain somehow. But... Anyways, we'll find out. Um, what you need, some apples. I got five medium-sized apples. Uh, caramels. I'm going to use craft caramels on this. 14-ounce um, pack. Hold it. Looked high and low. Walked all over Walmart. Ended up having a customer help me find uh, sticks. Because, uh, you know, nobody knew where popsicle sticks were at. I don't know why. But, anyways, when I did find them, they were like three bucks. This was like 75 cents, so I figure I'll cut them in half, I'll put a point on them, and that's what we'll use. But if you got popsicle sticks, use those. And then um, we're going to put some kind of nuts on them. And these are pecan chips. We're going to roll them in that. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. Let me get some stuff prepared, and uh, we'll get it started. So there you go. I got all the caramels uh, unwrapped and got them in a saucepan, got it on uh, medium heat. And uh, you have to put two tablespoons of water in with it also, so... <clears throat> Anyways, I imagine it's going to take a minute for these to get melted up. Once they do, I'll bring them back and uh, we'll dip these apples. Alright, I have uh, taken the... Uh, I've taken the caramel out of the pan. Just because I think this would be easier to roll it in. I just think it fits the apple better. We'll see. You also want some kind of greased pan. Now I'm putting this on the hot eye. Because I want to keep that caramel molten. But all I've done is taken a pan and put a piece of aluminum foil on it. And put some butter on it so it won't stick. And then I set that on there. <clears throat> and just do that over and over. Until you get all the apples covered. Doesn't seem too hard at this point. Unless something gets screwed up. Of course it could. I could burn myself or something. It just may not even turn out. <laughs> so anyways, I'm not going to make you sit through this. What we're going to do is we're going to dip these apples in caramel just like this. We're going to let them cool. I'm going to put them in the refrigerator, let them cool for just a little bit, and then I'm going to roll them in the nuts. So I'll bring you back for that. I had originally planned to roll these in this uh, these nut fragments, but uh, I don't know that that's going to work. That's what I was afraid of. Huh. Well, the idea was to put nuts on them. I guess I should have put it on when it was much hotter. I just didn't, didn't know. So, we learn. What we're going to have to do then, is we're going to have to pull this free. <laughs> now, see, it's now, now I remember why you don't do this. So, We'll pull one free. Get this plate so you can see it. Live TV, folks, is how it works. And put the nuts on the plate like I originally had planned. <laughs> yeah. Aesthetically pleasing, I'm not guaranteeing. Um, actually, I think that, uh, yeah, you're better off to buy them if you're looking for something that looks good. <laughs> well, there you go. The nuts just will not stick to that caramel. That caramel will stick to anything else, but it won't stick to those. Anyways, not everything I do turns out perfect or even close to it, so... Um, I bet you if you were here, you'd still eat one. So, it's just time consuming. You keep, Obviously, if you keep rolling it around in this nuts, it, it's going to pick it up. So, let me get the nuts put on them. You can see that this is uh, this is more work than I anticipated. So, 
Yeah, let me get these fixed up, and uh, we'll come back and give one a taste test and see if they're worth eating or not. Hopefully they taste better than what I'm dealing with here. So there you go. In the end, they turned out. The, the nuts did give me a little wrestle, but, you know, I was trying to make a video and do it at the same time, so it was kind of embarrassing. But in the end, you just have to roll it really hard in the nuts. Um, I didn't have enough to put it on all five of them, so the four of them you can see I wanted to show you. They all did turn out in the end. Um, now it's time to taste test one. And I used Granny Smith and Delicious. Three Granny Smith and two Red Delicious. And then you get a big caramel thing here at the bottom of it. So as you eat through the apple, you can chew on that down there too and get some extra caramel. Mmm. Oh. I know I say it all the time. I see how lucky I am. Mmm. That is good. Very, very good. A little, like I say, a little spooky when you're doing it and you hadn't done it in a while and you're making a video at the same time, but in the end, wrestle with it. Um, oh, man, that was really good. So, uh, hope you try. hope it turns out for you. It's a good little project to do on a Saturday if you have some apples and uh, turn them into something you can keep in. I hope we can keep them in the refrigerator for a day or so. I can't eat five apples at one time, but anyways, I better get going and get started. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for checking it out.